So I'm Emily and this is Kobe, and Kobe is a foster dog through Carolina Big Hearts Big Barks. I am his foster mom right now. And Kobe is just over a year old. He is a pit mix and he is looking for a home right now. So currently Kobe stays at my house with me and I have two other of my own dogs there. Um, Kobe is a dog lover. He loves to be around other dogs, loves to play. Do also have two cats. He's not so fond of cats. He's a little suspicious of them, uh, thinks they're up to something. So he would do best in a home without cats, but would love to have a dog companion with him. Kobe is a very loving dog. He loves people. He loves his people. Uh, once he realizes that you are a good person and that you're going to take care of him, he wants to be with you, um, whether that is sitting in the kitchen with you while you're cooking or sitting outside with you, he wants to be with you. He loves to be loved. He loves to be pet, he loves to give kisses. Um, he doesn't want you to go too far from him. He definitely likes to keep you by him. He loves to play fetch. He loves to go on walks and he's a great on a leash. So he's great for long walks. He also loves to go shopping. So he's great at places like Lowe's and Home Depot and always loves a good trip to the pet store to pick out some toys and treats. He's looking for a home without kids. He would do best without kids. He is looking for a home that's willing to give him some time to get adjusted. Once Kobe finds the perfect home, he will need to continue his training. He has been through a training program with Through the Leash Dog Behavior and Training. And with that training, he will always have them there to help him out. If you're interested in learning more about Kobe and meeting Kobe, best way to do that is to apply on Carolina Big Hearts Big Barks website. It's bigheartsbigbarks.com. You can fill out an application on there. And once your application is approved, you could do a meet and greet with Kobe and see if you'd be the perfect family for him and if he's the perfect addition to yours. Hey everybody, this is Steve with Through the Leash Dog Behavior and Training, and today we're with Kobe. You know, so whether it comes from a breeder and it's a prize breeder, or whether it's a rescue that's been in a shelter for years, months, or days, um, or if it's a dog that's getting rehomed, when they enter a new situation, it's so important that we establish boundaries. And it's important when they enter our house that we teach them and show them what the expectations are so that they're successful. And it's more important with a, with a rescue. That dog may have came from a bad situation. So now here's a new opportunity and the dog can learn from that. All right, what are the new expectations? You know, and we want those dogs to be successful. The last thing we want is for a dog to go into a new home and then get you know, brought back a few weeks later because that does a lot on the dog's psyche and it becomes tough on them. Whenever we have the opportunity to work with rescues, our goal is the same as theirs. We want to save dogs' lives. So by putting obedience and structure and rules you know, into this dog, you know, they're able to fit into somebody else's home a lot more seamlessly. When Kobe eventually gets adopted, we'll make sure that we're in contact with whoever adopts them so we can introduce them properly to Kobe as well as introduce Kobe into their home and begin to work with them so that Kobe understands, hey, I know it's a different house and it's different people, but the same rules, the same structure, and the same boundaries are in place. And those are in place to keep Kobe successful, ultimately. Our goal is to save a dog's life. We're with you for the life of the dog for follow-up sessions. So as Kobe grows, as any dog grows and gets older and develops some different habits, we're there to guide you along the way. And of course, we're always going to stay in touch because with guys like Kobe, you know, they have a piece of our heart at Through the Leash. And we're always going to follow up and make sure that they're being successful and the family is successful in working with them. Baby.